Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can double your Android device's battery life with a couple simple steps. Basically, saving battery life is a big thing in today's society, great thing to do with technology. A lot of people have Android devices and iOS devices out there, so this video is going to be geared toward Android. And basically I'm going to be showing you a couple simple steps so you can fix your battery life and nearly double it, in my experience, just without using any extra apps, all built-in settings to Android. First thing I'm going to show you is background activity. If you go into settings of your Android device, I have my Galaxy S3 here, scroll down, you should see something similar to application manager. If you go into that, you can see downloaded, running, and all applications. Go into running and you'll see all of the services that are currently running on your device. And you should see some things that are not really necessary that you have running in the background. As you can see, I have maps running in the background, so I'm going to go ahead and click and hold this. Um, and then you're going to go ahead and click stop click OK, that will stop the service, and now the app is no longer running in the background, and that will reset it. So that's a good thing to do. Great thing to actually save a lot of battery life. A lot of apps run in the background like that without even you really even knowing. Um, and that's a good way to save battery life. Also, if you go into the if you actually go into the recent applications, go to your home screen and hold the home button of your device, you can see all applications that have run in the in the recent history. If you go ahead and swipe them out, you can actually quit them from running. And if you see here, I have no recent apps. Nothing is running in the background other than what I saw in the background app manager. That's a great way to save battery life. Quit all open apps and see what is actually running in the background and stop unnecessary usage of apps that you don't really use. Also, if you go into settings, you can see your app usage itself. If you go into battery, you can see what has been using the most battery of your phone. As you can see, the screen on mine has been using the most battery. The OS and the system and the cell standby has maps and text now. All of those are my top uses of battery. If you go ahead and stop using these uh, applications as much as possible or quit them as much as possible, you'll be able to save a lot of battery life. It also tells you your overall battery life here at the top and tells you how much is discharging from your device. So overall, that is a good way to save more battery. They also have a power saving mode so you can save uh, the processing power and battery if you really need to save battery with your usage of applications. Also, another way that you can save battery is very, very simple, but here in the Notification Center on my Galaxy S3, you can see I have all of these different tabs at the top. Um, I have GPS, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, Vibration, Screen Motion, Mobile Data. You can go ahead and turn whatever you want off in here. You can turn GPS off, GPS off mobile data off, anything you want to save battery. You are going to lose some usage if you turn those things off, but they're good ways to save battery themselves. Also, a great way to save battery is, I just turned Bluetooth on, a great way to save battery is if you go all the way over here, you can see airplane mode. A lot of people don't use airplane mode the way that they should be using airplane mode. They think it's just something to be used on an airplane, just something to use very, very barely and sparsely. Bat uh, airplane mode can actually save a lot of battery if you use it inside of a movie theater when you're asleep. Your phone and your alarm will still work, um, and you'll be saving a couple of percent of battery. It works very well, and I've used airplane mode a lot just to save that extra couple of uh, percentages of battery. Also, if you go into settings and you go to location services, you'll be able to see that all of these are on for using location services. You can go ahead and turn off location services merely to save a good amount of battery. It works very, very well, and this will definitely stop your device from pulling unnecessary information in the background, looking for your location when you're using certain uh, applications, and it does work very, very well. It does save a lot of battery life, I've noticed. And finally, another last step that you can use to save battery life is to turn off notifications on your phone. Basically every app like Dropbox or, or whatever you use notifications for will ask if, if you want to receive notifications. Inside they should all have a different preference to turn off notifications which is a great way to save battery life if you don't really need a notification. For example, Dropbox I don't really need a notification for whereas my phone and text messages I probably would need a notification for. That's a great way to save battery life just don't allow notifications for apps that you don't really use. So overall, I've tested out all these steps. I've nearly gotten 50% extra battery life on my Android devices using this. I used to have to charge up every night. Now it's about every day and a half, which is great. Um, it is not for everyone. A lot of people want to keep all these services on, but this is just a simple way to increase battery life without using extra apps. And 
I also calibrate the battery by running it all the way down to zero and, and then recharging it all the way to 100% helps a lot. It also depends on your Android device and future improvements, how great a battery you will get. But overall, this is a great way to improve battery life for now. So as always, be sure to subscribe, thumbs up, favorite, and leave your comments below. I've also got my social networks like Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus down there. And I've also got a link for you guys to get paid iOS and Android apps for free. So check it out, guys, and um, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.